So starting with the launcher, I use a launcher called Launcher 3, which was extracted from the CM12 version of Cyanogen mod. On this launcher, I do have a very nice widget, um, which is actually the Google Clock widget, and I'll talk about this app a bit later, but basically the Google Clock widget is a very customizable widget. So on the first icon row of my set, I do have Instagram, and I'm pretty sure you guys all know what Instagram is. It's just basically a very nice photo sharing app, as well as website. Um, following Instagram, I do actually have SoundCloud. Now, I use SoundCloud to get all the music, or at least most of the music, for my videos. So some of the music, actually the first song in this video, was actually gotten from SoundCloud. Following that, we actually do have an app called Google Keep, which is a really, really good reminders app. Um, made by Google, so it really does have those rich material design features. But basically, you write a title, you add a note, and this would probably be a good time to show you the Google Keyboard. So I do use the default Google Keyboard. The keyboard that came with this version of Android, uh, which was themed to the iOS theme, actually doesn't look that good, so I did have to install Google Keyboard, but this does have emojis, which other keyboards don't have, and I feel like the new updated version is just a really good keyboard. Anyway, going back to Google Keep, you basically theme um, and add reminders to your notes, so basically you can have a very customizable note-taking app, which is basically Google Keep, so you should go download it right now, and I do actually recommend it. Following Google Keep, we do have Google Drive. Now, I'm going to show you Pocket in a second, which is the next app, but Google Drive I do use for schoolwork. And basically, I store my important files on Google Drive so I can't lose them and I can access them on any computer. And this is really useful, especially for this Dumb Things book that I wrote. <laughs> yeah, Dumb Things. So, you basically all know Gmail, and Gmail is just a basically really, really useful email app. Nothing, nothing much more said. The next app I do have is actually called Phoenix for Twitter, and Phoenix is a very good Twitter client, and it's very modernly themed. It's a really good option if you don't want to use the default Twitter app, which can get cum cumbersome sometimes, so I do recommend Phoenix for Twitter if you can check it out. The next app I have is actually a very good essential for YouTube creators, and I do have YouTube Creator Studio, and this basically allows you to respond to comments and view likes and uh, video ratings just straight from an app. And of course, you probably knew this one, if uh, you're really into photo editing, there's an app called Snapseed that Google made, so you can basically make your photos look awesome, and I know I can't really make my photos look awesome on the fly, but if you try a little bit, this has a lot of functions, and it's actually better than the Photoshop mobile app. As you can see, that kind of looks more disgusting in my opinion. And if you're wondering what device I was using, I was actually using an iPhone 6S clone that runs Android. Yes, I'm using the Goo Phone i6S Plus V6. Now, I was going to do a review for this, but I don't know if you guys want a review. So if you want to get a review, um, definitely make sure to drop a like, and I'll have that happen pretty soon. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I'm out. I'll see you in the next one.